Is this the go everywhere vehicle? Yes. time of us here that's Johnny G's wagon there and this wagon here is my friend Gavin's yoke this thing should be very capable looking forward to seeing it the guys are just doing a bit of wrecking at the minute and then they'll be off so hopefully we'll get some action footage of them here in a moment first couple of gates cleared by the stripped out and caged Suzuki Vitara before meeting this gate and abruptly stopping and what turned out to be a huge hole. <laughs> Recovery vehicle on the scene very quickly. The winch was put into action and not for the first time today, as you'll see later on in the video. Out of the frying pan, straight into the fire, but thankfully no winch needed on this occasion. Now we're on the Johnny G in his 31 year old Jeep Cherokee driving it like he stole it over this brutal section here. Brutal. I don't know how that comes out in camera but that's like brutal. That's probably not the last you're going to hear of that word today because that's what it was. Every section was indeed brutal. So much so that these gates were moved and nobody else got to tackle that one. It was deemed too difficult and too dangerous for all involved. These guys trying a different approach to avoid the big rocks, but finding themselves very quickly in a sticky situation. They weren't long in getting going again and continued to make their way through the gates in the rest of this section. Disco making a valiant effort and somehow managing to find a path up through the rocks and on their way to the next gate. Is that or you're not to your track? This event has three sections, each with ten gates, counting down from ten down to zero, and the aim of the game is to get through the gates without touching them and to make your way through the course without crossing your own tracks. You get points added for every mistake made and every gate touched and the aim of the game is get to the end of all three courses with as little points as possible. The disco driver probably sang with relief the fact that he doesn't have to go up this climb and the gates have actually been moved round the other side of the bank where it was a lot easier and safer for everyone. Let's watch the little Suzuki give it everything it has to try and get out of here to avoid having to use the winch of shame. Absolutely brilliant effort from the Suzuki. Well done, driver. I think it's safe to say everybody standing at that section was rooting for that little car and it didn't disappoint. Let's see if Big Brother can do it any better. Ooh, to see how things can get bent and broke, can't you? 
struggling a little bit, but managed it without too much difficulty. Absolutely love this Defender. You know, just looking at it, it means business. Whereas this Defender just needing a little helping hand to get unstuck from being high centered. And again, somebody else struggling with these gates, showing just how difficult it can be if you haven't highly modified your suspension. haven't took me for a quick spin in the little buggy and let me tell you something these climbs look a lot steeper when you're sitting in the vehicle there's not much visibility and this thing feels like it could just go anywhere apart from the hole at the start of the video obviously the same gates claiming yet another victim today and this time it's another defender We'll join the Vitara at the next section and these next two sets of gates, some people as you'll see had very different approaches and very different lines. But as I mentioned before, there's no straight path between the gates. You can take whatever route you want, provided you don't cross your tracks. Let's see if the Defender feels any more at home in the mud than it did in the last rock section. This time choosing to take the same route as the Vitara before, the direct line between the two sets of flags. Hopefully it's not going to be a mistake, as taking the wrong angle here could leave you cross axled and without drive and needing to get winched out. Just touching a flag, that'll be a mark added to the score. How's he going to tackle this next bit? It's, I just don't know if it's going to happen here. It's a lot slippier than it looks. No, and it just wasn't happening. Again, had to get rescued by the winch, but that's what these events are all about. Everybody's there to have fun, do what you can. If you get stuck, everybody pulls together and has you out again in no time. Absolutely beautiful looking defender here. Let's see if it can perform as good as it looks. Touch of throttle and job done. And another victim of the dreaded winch. Let's watch Sid show us all how it's done, and then we'll cut to some of the young lads when they show us some 
millennial parkour driving skills. And that, ladies and gents, is how it's done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my heart was in my mouth for a second there, but thankfully, all good in the end. Well done for not rolling that. <laughs> That's just about it for this video. And if you want to know any more about events like this in Northern Ireland, contact the Northern Ireland Land Rover Club, or alternatively, Four Wheel Drive NI. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell button so you get notified of more awesome videos like this.